The royal family has finally unveiled the official royal emblem that will be used for King Charles's coronation on May 6th. I am Deanna from Hot For History, and this is your coronation countdown. We're gonna talk about the new emblem that was just released. Now, the royal family is all about hidden symbols, whether it's in their jewelry, whether it's in the way they carry their purse, they have signals, they have signs, they have hidden meetings all over the place. There's significance even in what they wear. So they just released this emblem, which I personally think at first glance is beautiful, but it also, in my opinion, is a little bit feminine for the king, but also it's so appropriate for who he is regarding it looking like nature. It is very appropriate and I'll tell you why in a second. So when you create an emblem like this, it's very special. It's going to be all over the place. It'll be on t-shirts. It'll be on the official seal in souvenirs, in media. It'll be in stationery, in invitations. It will be everywhere. So this emblem is very, very important and we're gonna break it down in a second. For example, it has the colors of England. It has the blue, it has white, it has red. It was shared officially on February 10th on the Royal Family Instagram account. And it said the new coronation emblem has been unveiled. The emblem will feature throughout the historic events in May, including street parties, community gatherings, and on official merchandise. I definitely get this like Laura Ashley vibe here. It also has sort of this almost like China print like a plate print to it. It'll look beautiful on a plate. It may look a little feminine, a little pretty, considering this is for a king. That would be my only criticism. I think it could be a little bolder, but it has the Union Jack colors. Now in the middle of it, there is the blue crown, and then there's all of these beautiful flowers, these red flowers around it. And then there's this text that says, King Charles III, Coronation, 6 May, 2023. But it's not about what is printed on there. It's, it's about the flowers, it's about the crown, it's about the colors. The design has the Rose of England, the Thistle of Scotland, the Daffodil of Wales, and the Shamrock of Northern Ireland, which makes it perfect in order to pay tribute to the king's love of all of the natural world and the UK. And then together, all of those different plants, whether it's the Shamrock from Northern Ireland or the Daffodil from Wales or the Scottish Thistle or the Rose of England, together they form this crown. And it's St. Edward's crown, which is the exact crown that he will be wearing during his coronation. The man who created it, his name was Sir Johnny Ive, and Sir Johnny the designer says, it speaks to the happy optimism of spring and celebrates the beginning of this new Carolean era for the United Kingdom. Spring represents a newness, a freshness. The coronation is in the spring, and hopefully it represents a newness even to the family, to the monarchy, which, is something we all could use, sort of a lightness, sort of a flourishing, a blooming, and a feeling of life rather than death, rather than destruction, rather than infighting and battles and war. Coronation is May 6th in Westminster Abbey. There will be flowers all over the place. There will also be plants to represent the king's love of nature and his advocacy for nature and his advocacy for the earth to be pure and clean. He indeed is somebody who loves to get his hands dirty in the garden himself. The coronation will be on the 6th. The rest of the week, there will be concerts. I hear that his favorite group, the Spice Girls, will be in attendance performing. And now, so the big debate is whether or not Harry and Meghan will be there to share on Archie's birthday, this amazing coronation day to celebrate King Charles, and obviously if his grandson was there, it'd be an amazing thing, but let's not hold our breaths. They will be invited, whether or not they come, who knows. Please subscribe to Hot For History where you will get to hear royal news like this, coronation countdown, as well as history. I bet your history teacher never dared to teach you.